Welcome guys, this is Ola from Stop Me O channel and as I promised, I am back with another Life is Strange video. Now this is not a video that I expected to actually make anytime soon because we know so little about Life is Strange 2. I mean, we even know more about the bonus episode. Somehow Deck 9 is more open about what's going to happen in their games and stuff like that, but don't note, they, they don't really share anything at all pretty much. But first of all, let me just say that as you probably noticed by now, I have a new background music that was recorded for me by my friend Lorenzo Tonelli and I love it so much. He's very talented and I hope you guys love this music as much as I do. Now, as far as sources go for that video, that particular one that I'm recording right now, I used plenty of information that I found on Life is Strange Wikia page. I know some people that create that page and it's a great source of information so I'm going to leave a link in the description as well. Basically I'm going to leave a lot of links in the description so you can always check the things that I'm saying and see it for yourselves. So it all started with that announcement that Don't Not made a while back. Have a look. And between all these messages one question comes quite often on a daily basis I could say. Uh, it's what are we doing at the moment, what are we working on. So what we can share today is the fact that we've been working since the release of the box version last year on a new Life is Strange game with the Life is Strange team and we cannot wait to share more about this with you. So thank you so much for thank your thank support. You. Bye. They announced that exactly two years after episode 3 trailer. I'm certain they knew about it and they were aware of what they were doing. But we still don't know anything about Life is Strange 2. Now, I know that Don't Not people often reply when people text them and ask them stuff, so I decided to try for myself and I texted them, messaged them on Facebook and I asked them if they're willing to share anything, any hints. Please. Because before, when I used to tweet Chris Floyd from Deck 9, he would offer some hints and, you know, minor information, but it was always something that would allow me to discuss it further. Don't Not, no, they don't actually do that. They replied, but they said that they're not allowed to share any information at this point. So yeah, that wasn't really helpful. Obviously they've been working on that game for quite a while now. I know that they had these sessions with actors, you know, the movement actors. So the people that, you know, you put those little things and then, then you know, you film them or something. I don't know how that works, but they've, they've been doing this. The big question is, will Chloe and Max, or even possibly Rachel, be back? And the answer right now is no, they won't be back. What they basically said was that a second season would work, but the story of Max and Chloe is told, their characters' arcs are closed. Whichever choice the player made, Max reached the end of her coming-of-age story. Now she has grown up. She made her pivotal decision and the player helped to create her character, her feelings, her relationships. We like to think that we did our job as storytellers and game designers. We helped the players to meet their own personal version of Max and Chloe. So it's like they're trying to respect the fact that each player made their own decision and depending on your outcome, Chloe is either alive or dead in your Life is Strange universe. I mean, your own Life is Strange universe. The thing is, a while later, I was sent this link on Twitter. Someone sent me this more recent interview with one of the developers, and he said something like, oh, anything's possible. And then he mentioned that the game will be set in the same universe as Life is Strange 1. I doubt we'll see Arcadia Bay since it's either destroyed or not destroyed. It would be kind of weird to walk around Arcadia Bay and, you know, not meeting any familiar faces because we don't know if they're alive or dead, like Joyce, David, anyone from the school. From the context of that particular interview, it just seemed to me like it is possible to somehow meet at least Max. Max is alive in both versions, so I suppose if, it, if it's set in the same universe, then it is a universe where Max is alive and well, somewhere out there. It would be very cool to bump into her accidentally, but I don't know what purpose would it serve and if it would be necessary. Sure, it would be nice, it would be probably an easter egg of sorts, but I'd prefer to see Max as a protagonist of the game, not just someone we accidentally see somewhere. Unfortunately, I don't have a link for that particular interview. I'm sure that if the person that sent me this is watching this, I'm sure they will comment. 
because uh, she knows what what I'm talking about. We had a conversation about that on Twitter. I just I just couldn't find it. It was uh, I don't know like two three months ago. I couldn't find it. Moving on, I saw this French podcast on this website called ABCD. Jean Luc Cano, one of the f- games script writers, I think, he said that September is his favorite month. It just seemed like he was suggesting that September 2018 we might get new Life is Strange game. Now this year in June we're gonna get Vampire game. Don't Not is also developing this other game when you play as a vampire and I guess you get to choose if you kill someone or not. Which sounds amazing, pretty much like Life is Strange ending. So, you know, very traumatic, but this time you get to do it, you know, throughout the entire game. He did mention September and he was quite mysterious about that, so I'm guessing if we get Vampire in June, it is quite possible that a few months later we would get Life is Strange 2. And then we'll finally find out who will be our protagonist. Now that's another big question. We don't know if it's going to be a guy, a girl, a teenager, an adult, black person, white person, straight, gay, bisexual. Personally, I'm not a big fan of making Life is Strange gay franchise only. When I started that game, it wasn't because I knew that there would be a gay character. I mean, no one really expected Max to be, I don't know, into Warren or into Chloe. I'm not the biggest fan of differing people. If minorities want to be treated like it doesn't matter their sexuality or their race, their origins, anything at all, I think it takes a lot to actually act like it's not actually something that should be considered at all or noticed or acknowledged. I feel like all people are the same. So if there is a new gay protagonist, it's okay. All I'm saying is I think it's worth to sort of make things different as well. Based on that actress movement that was involved, and I think she was she was invited to do some, some recordings, we can guess that there will be a female involved. But is it a protagonist? We don't know. So I'm sorry if I haven't provided you with any information that's new or uh, relevant. I don't really know anything, I don't know wouldn't share any information, but it's fun guessing when you don't really know anything. Life is Strange 2 is your oyster. We don't know what we're going to get, but it's like I'm certain that it will be cool. I'm fine with Life is Strange 2, and I'm alright with new characters. It's just that I feel like it will be very hard to replace Max, Chloe and Rachel, because there are three very strong personalities there. You have Rachel that's kind of outgoing, um, more open. Uh, you have Chloe, the rebel type of person. And then you have Max that's a bit shy, shy and geeky. What other types are there? Maybe I'm forgetting something, but it feels like they represent pretty much the society. I don't know, I think it will be hard to avoid comparisons. And if we get a female teenage protagonist, she will always be compared to Max or Chloe. But having said that, I'm fine with Life is Strange 2 and new characters. I still want Rachel especially to be back, and Max and Chloe. And I don't mean bonus episode, I want them to be properly back. I don't know if it would involve some sort of time travel, and I know that some people would consider this milking a cow and stuff like that, but I don't care. I just want them to be back. I think it can be handled in a smart way. And I hope it is true that before the storm too could happen and we get to see more of Rachel. But we'll see what we get. Maybe somehow we'll get even better characters. Somehow. Remember, I, I left all the links in the descriptions if you want to check them out. Also for my social media. This weekend I'm going to continue walking that playthrough. I might record another Life is Strange video. I want to do a reaction video. I was sent this mode that looks quite interesting. Share your thoughts about Life is Strange 2 and what you expect of it. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Q&A video is coming soon as well because I'm reaching 2000 subs soon. Thank you so much guys. This was Ola from Stop Me Old channel. Bye.